and we might just stick around in this area. I saw some more back over yonder. Coming at y'all with a fun one today, guys. We're about to do some pond hopping up Preston Road through what's starting in about Dallas area, up on through Plano, then we're gonna hit Frisco, all before I hit work in, well, y'all can't see that, but <laughs> two and a half hours. So we got two and a half hours to bounce from spot to spot, and I'm gonna throw up a subscriber challenge for y'all. If we can hit 500 likes on this video, that's gonna be a big achievement for me, a new milestone. I don't believe I've hit that on any of my videos, and if I have, that's not pertaining to this one. If we can hit 500 likes on this video right here, then what's gonna happen is I'm gonna pick one of y'all randomly from the comments, and we're gonna fish whichever one of these ponds produces the best for us today, or maybe even one of your choice, depending on the location around the area here, and have a ton of fun together. And uh, you guys have been so great to me lately with all the amazing comments, new subscribers like crazy after fishing with John B, and I just wanna give back a little bit in any way I can, so let's go ahead and get you guys strapped up. We're gonna see if we can even catch fish today. It's been so crazy lately the bite is getting better and better spring is in the air y'all and we're ready to get after some I have never seen a catch out of this pond okay and funny story almost everything I have in here is broken because I snapped this fate black rod we're gonna have a jolly old time with two setups I'm gonna go with the chatterbait and I think the crack and crawl that's Texas rigged uh, yep I think she's a goner so just got the new video uploaded. Trench hog catches huge pre-spawn bass. That's fishing Adriatica and McKinney. You guys probably have already seen that episode by now because I bet it's been up a little while when this one gets posted since I have a few more vlogs to even upload before this one. But that's neither here nor there. Let's get after these fish. First spot was a bust despite its awesome appearance, so let's move on to the next one. All right, y'all. We are either gonna start here or not fish it at all based on what it looks like right now. I'm just curious if there's anything I might be able to see on some beds. Where's my polarized lenses? Uh, so far, nothing. I can pretty much see this whole thing. It's so shallow. That's what we're looking for right there. I see one that's two and a half. Oh, there's two right by a log. All right, that's another good sign. Trying to be somewhat stealthy on the approach between these million dollar homes here. We are gonna try and get this one over here in the corner. Oh, I'm stuck, but it's looking at it. If he bites it, I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna leave that there for a minute. And I'm going to see if he likes the crawl. Let's see if he likes the trench hog. I met those like nice houses off Preston, just a little down from the shops. I bit it one time, but just the tail. He needs to bite a little bit more. It's, oh, for sure, too fat. Oh, oh, <gasps> made him mad. And it's right here in the sun. It's super clear. Like, I just want to get him. There he goes. Whoa, not a bad one. Man, sweet guys. I'd say that could be almost a three pounder. Oh yeah, almost three and a half. In the water, they look so much smaller. Crazy. All right, y'all, cool. I want to get my rip knocker because my rip knocker is stuck down there and uh, that is not good. We must have the rip knocker. That thing has been like my favorite lure lately. Leave me with no choice. I really don't want to lose this lure. Tighten this up a little bit. Just get a straight shot. Oh, first try. That's awesome. I was trying to pop that thing for almost 15 minutes down there in front of that bass. And uh, you just take the rod off the seat. I'm sorry, <laughs> take the <laughs> rookie vlogger. You take the reel off the seat and you can throw the rod down in there and now, of course, there's always a chance of something bad happening to the rod, I suppose. All right, let's go and find the next one. There's tons of rock in this one, guys, so I'm gonna go straight for the blue baby crack and crawl. 
I'm gonna just eyeball this bank, but I'd rather start over there in the rock. So, oh, one right here. Oh, I spooked it. Here's one, here's another. Oh my goodness, two right here, very shallow. Oh, spooked him. Well, you know what, let's just walk this way then. There's one. There's two right over here. Thought I had bites for a second. I'm gonna switch up to a black and blue bandito despite the clarity. You know, I found a couple times it just kinda gets them riled up regardless. I don't know if they want the black and blue. I might keep a bandito bug on, just go natural color. It's now 2.50 and I need to be leaving fairly soon. So let's get a little bit more time before we have to split for sure. I'm just slow rolling them. I'm just dragging them over the rock and stuff down here. <laughs> Seeing if anything wants to pick them off. I feel everything. This Wu Tungsten paired with this Lunker's rod, this heavy rod, you feel everything. It's so nice. And in fact, if you're looking into favorite rods, you can go ahead and save 20%. I've got a recently announced, just type in Weston 20 at checkout and you'll get 20% off of your next favorite rod. So uh, man, if you guys utilize that, be sure to let me know what you get in the comments. I'm always excited for you guys when you pick some gear up like this. Appreciate all of you guys. Okie dokie. We got us that one big bed fish. That was a bunch of fun. Had a couple hours. First spot, we didn't know if there was fish anyways. This one, we know there's giants. We'll be back here with one of y'all, if not another local spot sometime soon. Appreciate you guys for watching. Peace out. <gasps>